And I couldn't ball up and die because I still had four other little boys that needed their mama. A Little Rock mom makes a tragic plea tonight, marking the first birthday since her son was killed in an accidental shooting. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Five-year-old Brennan Esau accidentally shot himself last year. And tonight, his family is sharing the story for the first time. As KRK4's Susan L. Corey explains, they want other parents to learn from this. Bob and Ashley, the Esau family, tells me they just want to prevent another accident like what happened to Brennan. He was supposed to be napping, but found a gun that no one realized was loaded. Balloons mark a bittersweet birthday. I can just picture my baby in heaven just dancing around. Instead of a party, Erica Esau holds a memorial on the day her son should have turned six. Brennan was always a happy child. Always. He woke up with a big old smile. Her world shattered last September when five-year-old Brennan got his hands on a loaded gun. I gave my baby a kiss. I walked out the door to drop my son off. And that was the last time I seen my baby alive. The day after, Little Rock police called it a tragic accident. She kept the gun and the magazine separate from each other, and apparently she didn't realize that maybe one was still in the chamber. Esau is now turning her grief. I always make sure your gun is unloaded if it's in your house. Or locked away completely. Into a reminder for other parents. Let's be real, we've all been kids. We've all done something we shouldn't have done. And unfortunately, it cost my son his life. With this birthday far from the celebration she ever imagined. Love on your children, love on your parents. This mom releases a part of her pain she knows will never truly go away. I just can't wait to see my baby again. Happy birthday. <laughs> Brennan was the youngest of five children. Several of them were home during the shooting, but none in the same room. Since police ruled this an accident, no one ever faced charges. Back to you.